Happy New Year's Eve, my math party people. Coach Anderson here, your ASVAP coach. And I want to reflect really quick on the rest of the year because we only have one day left, right? And this entire year has been such a blessing with miracles and a lot of success with you guys passing. And I just want to take a moment to thank you for being part of the ACE the ASVAP community. You've probably been watching these videos for a while now, but if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome in. I want to just thank everybody who's been with me over the past couple of years, who's passed their tests, who are still studying and still raising their scores. All of you have made this possible in terms of building a foundation for everybody who's trying to succeed in life. So thank you, thank you, and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's go ahead and get into this practice problem here, my party people. But before we do, please make sure that if you've seen my videos before, just like the videos, comment on them, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more free videos every single day. So let's go ahead and hop to it here. Let's have some fun. So as always, when it comes to word problems, the least stressful way to get them done, the easiest way is the direct way. Start with what your goal is, what do you want? Then look at the information in terms of what you have and then build a plan of action or make the connection. So again, what do you want? What do you have? What's the connection? Get your eyes instantly over to the question sentence. And that's gonna be right here. How many total gumballs are in the bag? Right there. You don't wanna start with all of this. Like this is not important, the ratio of blue gum. That's not important until you know what it means. Why is it useful? Why do you care? And you care because you're trying to find the total gumballs. So there it is. So start there. What we want is we want to know, hey, blank total gumballs. You know, you want to make sure that you are sticking to that, that paradigm, that, that, that idea of I don't care about the information until I know what my goal is. My ASVAP party people, hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAP score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept. From adding and subtracting decimals, to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. Bam. And as always, remember whenever you have a word problem that has the word if in it, in the actual question sentence, then that relationship needs to be established because they're connecting the information for you. Here's what I mean. Right over here, my party people, it says, hey, if there are 140 yellow gumballs, how many total gumballs? That's how you know that there's a connection between the total and yellow. So there are blank total gumballs with 140 yellow gumballs. Now, the, we the reason that you know that this is going to be a proportion word problem instantaneously is because they give you some hints here. You know, we drop some pretty big hints. It says the ratio right there at the beginning of the problem. So we know that this is going to be some sort of fraction problem or proportion problem. And the fact of the matter is, it says the ratio of blue to yellow gumballs is three to 10. Then we're given yellow and we're trying to find the total. So what that means is, oh, okay, we're comparing some of these things in some of the same ways. We just have to make sure we set it up properly, that we actually compare the same things in the same way. Remember that that's the main idea of proportions. So write that down if you haven't done so already. The main idea of proportions right here, as always, is compare the same things. Write this down. Compare the same things in the same way. Make sure you have that written down and you practice that every time you do proportions. Because what we're looking at here, my party people, is we are looking for the total. We have 140 yellow. But the information that is given to us says, 
hey, blue to yellow, three to 10. So we're told that blue to yellow is three to 10. Now, this is gonna be pretty difficult to work with as is, because notice the relationship that we are trying to compare to. Total and yellow, blue and yellow. If we try to set this proportion up, we're not gonna get the correct answer. We're gonna get the number of blue gumballs if we set it up as is. If we do the blank that we have for total and then the 140 that we have up here, so the total and yellow, this would be wrong. If, we tr if whatever number we found right here with this as is, that would be the number of, again, blue gumballs. Because what you're comparing it to is blue, so this number would come out as blue. But if you go ahead and think about this one little thing, if you think about how do we get to a total? How do we get to a total, everybody? Well, that's gonna be by adding things up, right? Finding the how much of this total. So if we wanted to write this proportion correctly, we need to make sure that this right up here is not blue. We need to make sure that it's the total. That way we have total and total lined up and then yellow and yellow lined up. So how do we do that again? Total just means add it up. If we have three parts blue and 10 parts yellow, what's three plus 10? What's the total of that? That's gonna be 13. We have 10 yellow, three blue. If we add that together, that's 13 total parts. So we'll replace the three right here with 13. Again, that's just for the ratio. That's not the answer, that's gonna be the ratio. So now we're ready to set it up and solve and have ourselves a good time. Here we go. So we'll go ahead and do this and we'll do T right there for what's missing. So we can, st we can say 13 over 10 equals T over 140. Why is this particularly easy? Well, this is gonna be particularly easy because the way that I teach how to solve proportions is not just about cross multiplying and dividing, it's about using your wit and your mental math skills to get this done the right way. So if you check this out right over here, guess what? If you compare the same things in the same way, you can find the right calculation. How do you go from 10 to 140? Well, that's gonna be times 14. So what that tells me is that, hey, right over here, I'm gonna times 14 and that'll get me my answer. That absolutely works. Compare the same things in the same way. Compare the bottom left to right, the top left to right. If you compare them in the same way, then you're good. You'll get the same calculations, the right calculations. So we just need to figure out what 13 times 14 is and we're done. So with that said, let's just do that right over here and we're good. 13 times 14, three times four is 12, one times four is four, carry the one is five. Three times one is three, one times one is one. Add these together and that's gonna give us two, eight, and one. 182 and there's our answer, boom. 182 total. Booyah, and we're done. Now, if you would have accidentally not done this part right there, if you would have accidentally left that as three for the blue, no worries at all. Because if you would have gotten the three for the blue, or if you were to use that, when you solve this problem, you may have gotten a 52 when you went ahead and um, did this. Because 14, or excuse me, 42. You would have gotten 42. And again, that's not the answer. You would have gotten blue equals 42. And because you already have 140 yellow, we would go ahead and add these together and that would give you your total of 182 total uh, gumballs. So again, two different ways to solve it, but I wanna make sure you understand why these setups matter because it's not just about calculating correctly, it's about calculating correctly from a proper setup. So with that said, my math party people, as always, I love y'all, you guys have been awesome. Remember to like this video, comment on it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way you can see more free videos just like this to keep raising your score. I'll see you in the next one, my party people. Anderson, your coach. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.